you can sit down. Okay, you put the way I stand up. Uh, I was asking what in 9, October 1941, with, uh, well, before I, w I went to seminary school, in, in the summer of 1941, and there were 14 in our class. And, uh, well, I, I got to get through this. Uh, I got to keep this straight now. There, there, there were two men. One was lost on the Amberjack, and one was lost on the, uh, uh, the Grenion in 1942. Uh, about eight years ago, somebody loaded, located, they were in my sub-school class, about 14 guys back then. And he, he called me on the phone and wanted to know about his uncle, who he never, this was a younger man, maybe 50, something like that. Wanted to know about his uncle, that he never had the pleasure of knowing. And uh, th th this uh, this kind of shook me up because th this this young man was was 20 and I was 17 when we went to seminary school in the summer of 1941. And his name was uh, Alfred Ullman. And he was lost on the Grenion in 1942. And oh, I got to say something. When you read out those boats, you left out my boat. Yes, 27 was sunk in June 1942. And all 50 of us lived on an island for a week. Right next to, you all the guys know where Kiska is, Japanese held Kiska. We laid low for a week until we were found by PBY aircraft. And uh, I gotta take the point, that boat wasn't mentioned today. So I'm gonna get a lawyer. Sorry, I'm not here today to see all this. It's uh, it's just uh, well, I'll tell you one story. One quick one. You all the guys remember Charlie Spritz in the at the submarine base in New London? Well, you heard about him. Okay, there was an identical chief petty officer at the submarine base in Pearl Harbor, and his name was Pete Chang, and he was pissing. <laughs> if you will all believe for an hour, you washed his car. I washed his car a couple of times. And uh, there's a lot I can think of today, but uh, I just don't know. Uh... Oh, oh, December 7th, 41, I happened to be at the submarine base. Now, you know the submarine base didn't get it. We saw all the action around us, Fort Island, uh, or Wheeler, all that like that. And there were three boats at the base and one boat over in the Navy Yard, the Cuttlefish. And uh, we, we just uh, stood there and, and watched the whole uh, the, the whole show, more or less. It was a pretty day. We couldn't see the Arizona blew up. The Arizona was directly east of us at Fort Island. And there's a big tender there at the sub-base at Pier 1. Now, some of you might remember the name of that tender. I, I don't, but there was a big tender there. And we saw this black, you saw the film of Pearl Harbor, where the Arizona blows up. You all saw that. Well, we saw this smoke come up, and we thought it was something on Fort Island. And we, everything was, oh boy, somebody got it big there. We had no idea what it was. Okay, I tell you what, I'm gonna sit down and let you continue, but I just, uh, I get started. I, hey, unwind that clock back there. <laughs>